Oh man, what is going to happen with Algorand and Coty? Is there further downside risk or are we out of trouble and can we now reverse to the upside? Now, as you can see, we've got the Bitcoin chart open because this will all depend on Bitcoin right now. When Bitcoin crashed, we saw a crash in all major altcoins, as you would expect, because we aren't decoupled from them, right? All coins move at a magnitude difference to what Bitcoin does. So right now, what we could see, and you can still see my drawings from earlier on, is that we managed to get a bit of a bounce and support at this level on Bitcoin. Uh, which was sitting at, you can see here where this bounce came. This bounce came at 55,700, right? 55,700 on Bitcoin and it led to a recovery. And at the time of making this video, you can see I even drew it here. Could this just be a dead cat bounce? Or could we be heading further down to my price targets where I was saying a couple of days ago, we've got downside risk to 54 and even lower down to this trend line. So between 51 and 54 downside, right? Because if you look at the longer term trend on Bitcoin, we've got this massive trend line, which we have to collect support from if we keep losing horizontal supports. Now, as we can see, that is unfortunately playing out right now. And you can see that we were unable, if I just zoom back in, you will see that we're unable to create a higher high. So you see this high here? We needed to break above the apex of this wedge, which was about at least where this green line was at 59,552 and we we're unable to do. Okay, so this is still a downtrend and still suggesting to me that because we're creating lower highs, uh, that we could be still in a downtrend and more downside risk to see on Bitcoin, right? Now we're gonna go take a look exactly at the Algorand chart and exactly at the Koti chart to see where we could be heading and what patterns I've just seen in the charts. And I'm gonna give you the exact levels I'm looking out for. But before we do that, please don't forget to collect your free money. You've got Swissborg offering you up to 100 euros when you deposit 50 euros or more. You've got Coinbase giving you $10 in free Bitcoin when you buy yourself $100 or more in crypto. And don't forget BlockFi are waiting to give you $10 in Bitcoin if if you deposit $100 or equivalent on their exchange. So links in the description. I've got all three of those set up, so I'm not showing you anything that I don't have set up. Get those set up. Make sure you've got your exchanges ready with a bit of money ready to buy your favorite dips. Without further ado, let's take a quick look at Algorand because I want to show you this pattern that I've seen. And what you can see here is I'm on the four hourly right now, and you can see we're creating this continuation pattern, which could suggest if we break to the upside, a good move to the further to the upside. Now, obviously, like I've caveated this at the beginning, this will fully depend on what happens with Bitcoin. But if we take the measured move, okay, at, uh, let's take it from here to about here, just very crudely, guys, whilst I'm here on my iPad, just to give you an idea, we could be suspecting upside to at least the top of this wedge at $2.05, but technically up to $2.10, $2.11, where we'll then start to face our next resistance on Algorand, which, as you can see, is sitting at $2.13. So that's what I'm looking at to the downside. Now, if we break out to, sorry, to the upside, if we break out to the downside, we've got to be wary of further lower levels. And I've made this very clear on Algorand. If Bitcoin has a and Algorand therefore has to head to the downside, not only could we be heading down to 164, which is a very important support level, you can see a bunch of support here on the hourly, but I can even see 152 in our agenda here on Algorand as well. So you have to be very careful of those levels. If I head over to the daily, you will see exactly what is happening here. Okay, guys, so you can see we've got some very important support lines here at $1.52 and $1.64. So if we lose $1.64, $1.52 is our next major level of support coinciding with these levels of support when we bounce nicely twice here on Algorand. If I bring out the EMA ribbon as well, you can see here, even though we've had some really strong days here on Algorand, whoops, let me just clear out some of these drawings. Uh, there. You can see here, even though we've had this situation here on Algorand, we've had a good green candle here. Uh, this red candle today, which is about 4.8% down, is really starting uh, to penetrate us back. So if we close below this EMA ribbon, again, we flip bearish on the daily, uh, much like we did uh, on the 17th and the 16th of November. So definitely need to watch out for those levels on Algorand. What is our good friend Coty saying? Well, if we head over to Coty, again, I want to show you on the four hourly chart, if I just remove the EMA ribbon, what I want to show, in fact, it's even more better visible on the hourly, 
is we are creating this wedge pattern as well. But more importantly, this wedge is in a broader pattern. And the broader pattern I want to make you aware of is this long-term resistance we've been facing. This resistance dates all the way back to when we bounced off the 66 cent mark, which we know for Koti is a very strong resistance level, right? Uh, so it bound, dates back all the way to 30, 31st of October. And ever since we've been in this very big downward trend all the way to the downside. Now, within this downward trend, we are now facing this downward continuation pattern, okay? So it's more likely to break to the downside. But if Bitcoin can move to the upside, if Bitcoin can start gaining some momentum again to the upside, which like I said, it's very important that Bitcoin leads the way in this market, then this could tie in with perfect timing here on Koti, because what we have here on Koti is not only we entering here, but if we break to the upside, not only will we break breaking from this particular wedge here, but you'll be breaking out from the wider pattern here as well. So we then got moved to build higher. So that'd be a really good reversal pattern here on Koti. And if I just show you that same thing on the daily chart, you will see here that on the daily chart, this has been a long standing level of resistance. You can see if I just clear up my drawings a little bit here, you can see there right there, that has been a, a long level of resistance. So if we can clear that, if we can break to the upside, build some support, we really can start heading higher for Koti. As we know, guys, you want to, to monitor, you want to monitor the fundamentals of your altcoins, as we always do, to make sure you're excited about those projects and you know what is going on, what catalysts are there. But right now, given the environment we're in, I'm defaulting to looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is leading this market right now. And if Bitcoin goes on a reversal back ahead, back above 60,000 and more, then all coins will have license to rebuild bound because at the moment they're all suppressed because Bitcoin is suppressed, okay? So think of elastic band, uh, it's just been pulled back. If Bitcoin can spring ahead, the rest of the altcoins will spring forward as well. So that's what we're looking at. You can have the best patterns lined up on your altcoins right now, but fundamentally it's going to matter about whether Bitcoin can bounce. And the worrying sign I'm seeing, just to show you one last time before we head away, is that Bitcoin is displaying signs of a dead cat bounce. And that's why I want you guys to be very wary of this. Uh, as you can see here, I'm just going to show it to you on the hourly because it's far more obvious on the hourly, uh, you can see here that we broke down to the downside of this wedge and you can see exactly what my diagram is showing is, whoops, there we go. You can see exactly what I was showing earlier in today's phantom video is playing out. We're unable to create a higher high. We topped out here at 58,800, but really we wanted to get above 59 and a half at least and technically above these tops here, uh, which is suggesting a 60,000. So really we need to see 60,000 above for Bitcoin and creating a higher low. So we need to see some sort of a turning around here in order to create an uptrend. Otherwise we've got further downside. And you can see my further downside, if I just come back out to the daily chart is very evident that we have this major, major support line, uh, which we want to keep an eye on, which runs all the way up here. Okay, and that is why I'm suggesting and I'm preparing myself for downside to 53, 54, even 52 levels on Bitcoin. If we don't, we can head back up above 60. Fantastic. But I'm preparing myself and preparing some cash on the sides to buy the dip on some of my favorites if Bitcoin gets to 53, 54. Because if we do see those levels, don't be surprised if some of your favorite altcoins really do go on some serious discounts. There you go, guys. As always, if you appreciate my content and my blend between technical and fundamental analysis, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel. But more importantly, if you want to support my efforts to bring in youth, these types of videos on a daily basis, updating you on your favorite coins, hit the join button, guys. That will give you an option to support this channel. But more importantly, you'll get access to our to our members only chat where you can ask me one-on-one -on -one questions on your favorite coins, your favorite cryptos, and I'll get back to you one-on-one -on -one in that members only thread. As always, we've also got our free public Discord channel. Uh, that'll be in the pinned comment below. So head over there, meet like-minded people, guys. It's a really fast growing community and it's a testament to all you guys that you're switched on, you wanna build sustainable wealth in crypto. So if you're not already in there, we're almost at 200 people in that Discord, all committed to building wealth in crypto, all helping each other out, super friendly, super helpful. Jump into there, doesn't cost you a penny, speak with like-minded people, share your chart patterns, share your ideas, people are doing the same as well, tag me with any questions, I spend a lot of time in that Discord as well, and I will see you in the next video.